As a mechanical engineer and content creator, I organize almost my entire life in Notion. So today I want to show you my simple but effective Notion setup. I'm no Notion expert and I don't use any complicated functions. It's all just basic pages, galleries and boards, but it works well for me because the main structure carries all the weight. It allows me to keep track of all the projects that I'm doing and all the information that I want to save and to feel inspired every time I open my Notion. Let me show you how. Let's start with the most important part of my Notion setup, the main structure. For the main structure of my Notion, I basically follow a system called Para, which I just adjusted slightly to make it more inspiring for me. Para, so projects, areas, resources and archive, was created by Tiago Forte, who wrote a book called Building a Second Brain. You basically just sort all the information you want to save into four different buckets, projects, areas, resources and archive. And it works great for me because I mostly use Notion to keep track of information and create content. I did also add my own element to this structure, goals, because I wanted to make it more inspirational for myself. So I wanted to include some kind of vision board, and that's basically what my goals section is. Because as actually also Tiago Fortis says, a project without a goal is a hobby, and a goal without a project is a dream. Every goal should have a project, otherwise it's just a dream, and every project should have a goal, otherwise it's just a hobby. So. Let's dive into the different uh, areas or buckets. So first I have my goals and here I like to just add a theme for the year. And then these are my current goals, but I haven't added the new goals for uh, next year yet. But I do already have a theme. Um, and then I also I don't know, just have some extra, some extra pages down here. It's not super organized, but the main important thing for me is this vision board. Yeah, I could probably still add uh, <laughs> some pictures to some of these. But, you know, it's uh, always a work in progress. So for example, for this goal, it's just basically yeah, a database. And then I have any projects that are covering this goal linked to it. So every goal should have at least one project here. Yeah, so this is my goals section vision board. And then let's go to my project. So this is where the official para structure starts. So here I have all the projects that I'm currently working on. It's quite a few, like my YouTube channel, my podcast, newsletter. Um, then I also made a project for quitting my job and moving countries and um, my Discord server, my website, my career I see as a project. I've been learning how to code. I'm learning Dutch right now and I'm writing something which I might talk about in another video. And then I also like to have a fake semester, which is kind of like my learning project. Yeah, <laughs> literally a fake semester. And then I have also a list of possible potential future projects. Here I just add any new ideas I have for projects so that I can also add information to them as I come up with it. But I don't want them to clutter this project list because these are just my active projects. I know technically a lot of these aren't projects because the official definition of a project is that it's a time-bound undertaking with a defined scope and a start and end. And that's not really true for things like my YouTube channel. Basically, there I just have a lot of mini projects. Like each video that I do is a mini project in itself, but well, it would be way too messy to add them all in here. So I see this more as like the category for my YouTube projects. And then let's look into what a project looks like. Most of them look similar. Like I always go with a Kanban board. So a board where I have different um, buckets that I can move them from. And uh, really the first two I don't use that much. But so I, a video starts out as an idea. And I go into writing, uh, ready to film if I'm ready to film it, uh, which I guess this one should be here. <laughs> so I'm filming right now. And then when it, I filmed it, I put ready for editing and then editing in progress. The reason I have these separate is because sometimes I work with an editor and then I, I want to know that that editor is working on it already. Then I have editing done and then I've scheduled when I have actually scheduled it. And yeah, I did already schedule these so I could move them in here. Now, well, I try to keep it updated, but sometimes, you know, I don't go into my Notion when I finish something. 
this one is also already scheduled. Okay. Yeah, and so each of these is not just not just a card, but there is actually my entire script in there. So for example, for this video that I'm filming right now, then I have like some uh, inspiration and I have the video script there. And this is what I'm going through right now. Yeah, and then I also sometimes add a shot list. Okay, this is not very relevant. But so I have a Kanban board for most of these, at least the ones where I continuously put out content and then they are each card is like a mini project the next place i have is areas this is a space for all the information that i'm interested in that is not a part of my ongoing projects but part of my you know, areas of life for example i use it to keep track of information for my business here any digital journal entries and my interests like interior design and marketing I know it's a weird interest to have, but I don't know, for some reason I'm obsessed with marketing. Yeah, so these are like things that I care about and therefore also find a lot of information on and they don't necessarily have an active project, but maybe they will in the future and then it will be nice to have it all organized. Okay, so after areas I have resources and this is a space for more general resources I don't want to keep track of by type of information, but by type of resource. Here I keep my reading list of books and then like a long list of books that I still want to read. Mostly like books I don't own yet. And then I have my library. This is books that I have read, like this big. And I also always add a little card for the year so then I know that these are all books I read in 2022. And then here, these are all books I read in 2023. And then I also add any notes so this is a book I'm reading right now. As I said, I'm obsessed with marketing. So it's a work in progress. And so these are just all like thoughts I had during it. Anything I want to write down. Any information I want to remember with a book. Bucket, but I also tag my books. This is tagged as marketing. So I can later search for it. And yeah, my library is almost 100% nonfiction. Because that's what I like to read. I'm obsessed with nonfiction books. And I also have like any courses that I took. I also treat as a resource. And then because I move homes so often, I have like my standard packing list and anything there is to organize. And I also have specific YouTube resources, uh, which I can show you. I guess it has like anything I've ever bought for YouTube. And then like a list of free resources, just anything I want to save. Uh, and then also quotes. And down here I have like Notion resources, so any templates that I am ever saving in Notion, I put them all here. And then finally, we have Archive, and this is just mostly projects I either completed or quit and that are not relevant to any other active area or project. I don't think I'll need these in the future, but I don't want to get rid of them just in case. I basically never open this page, but sometimes I end up finding things through the search function that I hear. And uh, yeah, that's always great. So that's it. So what's your Notion setup like? Please comment below. Now I actually ranked all of the books you saw in my library from worst to best. So if you're into nonfiction and you want to see which books are worth reading, then you should definitely check out this video right here.